Dogs are often referred to as man's best friend, but this is not the case, they are far more vital. New owners will tell you that a dog rapidly becomes an important and full-fledged member of the family, and that it is difficult to fathom living without them. But, is it possible that you're doing things that irritate your dog without even recognizing it? Because dogs are devoted and easygoing, they generally accept human behavior. However, there are many things that a dog's human family does that the dog dislikes. I am sure there are a few things you are aware of, because it's evident, like grooming. To gauge your dog's likes and dislikes, keep an eye out for their body language. If your dog's mouth and eyes are somewhat relaxed, their posture is free and loose, and they lean forward for more, they are likely happy, and are excited about the experience. If they hang their head, lick their paws, move away, pant, yawn, or show the white of their eyes, they are displaying stressing signals, and it is time to give them a break or stop. We love our furry friends, so it's important that we understand what they like and dislike, and treat them well. But before we get into the 10 things that most dogs dislike, welcome to Animal Digest, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to get your weekly dose of animal and pet content. Enough rambling already, let's get started. Number 10. Hugging. It's adorable to see images of people hugging dogs, but for the dog, the truth isn't quite so pleasant. Many dogs dislike being hugged, especially by strangers. Putting your arms around a dog's neck or even around their body could be interpreted as threatening. Although many dogs will tolerate subtle hugs and kisses from known humans, this does not imply that they enjoy them. Allowing the dog to cuddle according to his own terms, and petting him by rubbing his back or chest is a better choice. Number 9. Not allowing your dog to sniff on walks. Walks are enjoyable for dogs, and for reasons other than exercise. Taking your dog for a stroll outside allows him to investigate his surroundings. Your doggy mainly explores his surroundings with his nose, by sniffing for scents, then followed by using his eyes, ear and mouth. Unlike humans who explore by using their eyes. It's harsh to rush your dog when out on walks, by not giving him the opportunity to explore, and mark his surroundings by sniffing. As a matter of fact, would you like someone rushing you, and then pulling your hands while shopping at your favorite discount store? And preventing you from looking around? Wouldn't that be aggravating if it happened all the time? So, the next time you take your dog for a stroll, allow him the time to investigate his surroundings. Number 8. Invading your dog's personal space. When humans get in a dog's face, the dog has a tendency to dislike it, just as much as they dislike embracing. Consider how you'd feel if someone is frequently in your space, or in your face. Avoid shoving your hands in a dog's face, standing over them, or charging at them. This is especially crucial if the dog is unfamiliar with you. If you must invade your dog's space for his benefit, like cleaning his ears or brushing his teeth, take your time, be patient, and reward your dog with goodies and praise. Back off. If your dog shows signs of dislike, or displays indications of fear, or is hostile. It's wise to be cautious and avoid being bitten by a dog. Number 7. Harsh and aggressive punishment. No one enjoys being shouted at, or severely reprimanded. Dogs may not be able to understand what we're saying, but they can sense our emotions when we do. If you have a sensitive or fearful dog, you may discover that scolding and harsh punishment bothers or scares them. Despite your dog being overly joyful, harsh treatment and severe punishment are unlikely to help in the long run, since your dog will eventually get accustomed to the treatment, and does what he wants anyway. The most successful sort of training is often by positive reinforcement. Instead of scolding or hitting your dog, Consider diverting him to a preferred behavior to rectify the unacceptable behavior. Number 6. Strong perfume or fragrance. Did you know that a dog's sense of smell is 10,000 to 100,000 times more sensitive than humans? Yes, it is. 
Dogs generally love inhaling a variety of aromas and odors, but strong smells and chemicals can be overwhelming for your dog, and even cause irritation to the dog's nose. It's preferable to avoid spraying anything directly on your dog. If your dog requires a medical spray, keep it away from his face. When using your own fragrance such as perfumes or air fresheners, keep them away from your dog, and check that they are not poisonous. Number 5. Dressing up your dog. If your dog was not introduced to wearing clothing from when he was a puppy, there is a strong probability your dog dislikes being dressed up. As a matter of fact, most dogs will accept costumes or outfits, but the majority will not enjoy them. Before you put your dog into a bunny suit, get to know him. Number 4. Being ignored and left alone. Dogs are socializing animals who dislike being ignored or left alone. Some canines find comfort in the company of other dogs, while others prefer human interaction. Some dogs, in severe instances, dread being left alone and suffer from separation anxiety. In most cases, the issue is that most dog owners must work, and have no choice, but to leave their furry companion alone. In other cases, dog owners must also run errands, take vacations, and so on. Obviously, your dog is oblivious to all of this. So, how do you rectify the issue? When at home, try to spend as much quality time as possible with your dog. Create a regular schedule that includes plenty of physical and mental activities. If you travel regularly, hire a dependable pet sitter who is familiar and comfortable with your dog. Also, examine if it's even reasonable to have a dog if you travel frequently, or the option to have your dog travel with you. Number 3. Displaying unhappy and upsetting emotions. Life is unpredictable. It's unrealistic to expect people to be happy at all times. Your dog, as a matter of fact, can pick up on your unhappy emotions due to the strong attachment you have with your dog. If you are going through a stressful situation or unhappiness, your dog will definitely be impacted. Some dogs will develop depression or even become sick due to your emotions. Try sticking to a routine and spend lots of quality time with your doggy. Dogs may be a great avenue for receiving emotional support. That's why dogs are so effective in assisted therapy. Go for a walk with your doggy, and you could discover that it makes you feel better. Number 2. Forcing them in situations they don't like. It happens to almost all dog owners. Your dog suddenly stopped in his tracks, and is determined not to do something or go somewhere. Like, going to the groomer or to the vet. It could be a specific individual or even just another animal that your dog is trying his best to avoid or ignore. Most of the time, your dog's refusal is related to a certain phobia or fear. When your dog is put in a terrifying scenario, you are creating a stressful situation for him. To help your dog deal with these scenarios, gradually introduce him to the terrifying situation. Keep a safe space between you and him, and praise him for remaining calm. Slowly increase your dog's exposure to the triggering situation, and reward him if there is no reaction. For example, if your dog is afraid of the groomer, you can find ways to teach him to like the groomer. If your dog fear is severe, you may require the assistance of a trainer. Number 1. No routine or rules. Your dog may not appear to need them, but they need rules. It's likely that your dog is misbehaving because he was not trained to have rules. Training is definitely a vital part of giving your dog structure in his life. Sticking to a strict routine is essential. It's important to feed your dog at a scheduled time every day if possible. Also, if possible, start a mental and physical exercise routine. You will likely notice that your dog is calmer after a couple days or so, of established routines and rules. Rules and routines help your dog's life feel more structured, which can improve his temperament. Remember no two dogs are alike. What one dog despises, another may enjoy. We would love to hear what your dog dislikes, did we leave it off the list? Let us know in the comment section below.